welcome back for another video guys if you haven't noticed i'm not using my microphone here that i typically use i'm using the one that i got on top of my camera so we'll see how this works out again thank you guys so much for the support we're going to continue to push out these videos every single day and we might miss a few days here and there but you know it happens these are rare half dollars that sold at auction for big money <laughs> So we're gonna check out a few of these half dollars today and see what they actually sold for at auction. Also, today's shout out of the day goes to, let's look and see, uh, who are we gonna shout out? I'm just going through random comments every single day. If you comment on my videos, I'm giving somebody a shout out. Because one, I like engaging in the comments with you guys. Let's put this on the screen, right here. Rick Pantano, AZ, I'm guessing that maybe Arizona. Rick Pantano. Uh, he said, Sunshine, you're rocking it. Keep up the dang good work. I bet your family is smiling. You as well. Great channel. Professionally executed. Rock on. Thank you, dude. Thank you so much for that comment. Um, I haven't checked if you're subscribed, but if you are, thank you for that as well. So let's get into these half dollars that sold for big money. Starting off with the 1972D. I know many of you guys are like, what? 1972? There's no way that sold for big money. Well, it did. It actually sold for $2,485. So what's special about this coin is that it does not have the FG initials on the reverse of the coin. And as you can see in the picture display, the coin on the left has the initials, the coin on the right does not. For this 72D, it would not have the initials, so it would look like the one on the right there. So the FG of the initial stands for the designer's name, Frank Gasparro. On some of the 1972Ds, these initials are missing. The design element is likely missing because the dies were ground down at the US Mint to remove clash mark. So that's a pretty cool coin. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so for this coin, this is really cool. As you can see in this picture, Kennedy struck twice there. So these coins were struck in 75 and 76 and each carry the dual date of the 1776 to 1976, meaning that they are both the bicentennial half dollars so these are extremely popular obviously because of the way that they look the way that they were struck all that good stuff it shows that the minting process is not always 100 percent accurate and they can mess up which is a good thing because that means it's more money in our pocket so for a 1976 kennedy bicentennial half dollar double struck like this in the mint state of 66 is a pretty pretty good grade the price that it sold out was two thousand two hundred and thirty two dollars that's pretty impressive for a bicentennial half dollar. So this next coin sold for a whopping $47,000, which is, I mean, mind blowing to me for a 50 cent piece. The story behind this is that a 1964 Kennedy half dollar had a special mint set finish graded with an MS67 by PCGS, and it was only one of a dozen or so that actually exist. So the coin was struck with like some kind of special proof finish that were basically considered test coins for the 65 and 67 mint sets. Here's what Heritage had to say about that. Extensive evidence of die preparation and the existence of multiplied struck examples of each denomination suggests that these coins were intended from the beginning as something more than just regular 1964 half dollars. So just kind of a quick video. I know we're only covering three coins in this. I kind of want to break it down, uh, not make it as long. That way we can make other videos about uh, half dollars instead of you know putting 50 different dates in one video we're just focusing on three coins that sold for big money tomorrow we will have another video uh, probably a little bit longer and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe and hit that bell next to it until tomorrow I'll see you guys in the comment section below this is couch coins and this is where I disappear